All right. Where do I look? <laughs> Wherever you want. Okay. Let's go, Kate. Nice. Right, let's hey. go. Welcome to the rundown. I know what you're probably all thinking. Who the hell is that? Well, that's Big Cat and that's Rome. There you go. Anyways, uh, we're five <laughs> days joke. out from Christmas. We're one day out from being able to go on break. And I'm excited to be here hosting with you guys today. Yeah. Hell yeah. Kate. So, do you want to do the ads? I would love to do the ads. You know what? These seats are great. Even better, a seat with quiet. SeatGeek. Promo Tables code rundown. Everyone quiet down. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. You won't have to deal with this kind of riffraff if you get good seats from SeatGeek. Mm. Uh, promo code RUNDOWN. $10 off your first ticket order. Check it out. I know it's on my phone. Love you using that app. Yep. Also, Movement no. Watches. Oh, you don't wait, have to. You can wait. You can Just wait. kidding. That's a teaser. That. that was a tease. That was yeah, a teaser. A movement tease. Watches? What tune about in later. Them? You're going to have to tune in later to Stick find around. out. Stick around. Now, this will be, you're thinking, oh, it's a lady up here. She's going to make it weird. <laughs> I'm not. It's going to be regular stuff. I would say your gender has nothing to do with that. I think it's no. your weirdness has something to do with making it weird. Well, I won't. I promise. Okay. Um, Kate's the up. biggest apologizer in the office. She apologized <laughs> yeah. to me because I walked within three feet of her. She thought her legs were in the way of me. Just to generally apologize in person. Well, Kate's also... I, do. I don't want to make this like a... Well, no. We should like intro it's Kate. Just, yeah. yeah. Kate yeah. is uh, a <laughs> uh, fabulous host on ZBT and Hi Haters. Mm. And... Sneaky, one of the uh, funniest people in the office, and a well-known klutz. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I probably didn't even see it. Oh! Damn. <laughs> Interception. I was wow. trying to uh, not do that and keep it up, but... Huge. She, uh, we were uh, like yeah. two weeks ago, uh, the Failing Upwards guys were in here, and we were, I was talking to one of them. We had like a pizza in between us, and I was like, Kate, do you want a slice of pizza? She walked like in the middle of our conversation <laughs> and just started knocking everything over. Oh, yeah. And she just like kept on saying, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and then we just don't even know what we're talking about. It's a good brain. Yeah. I hate to say this, but after uh, Boston won the World Series, a few of the players were here, and they were all standing over there talking, and I didn't. I didn't know who they were. Sue me. Um, and they, but they were blocking cupcakes that I wanted. So I was like shuffling through. I was like, pardon me, pardon me, you're blocking cupcakes. Um, and yeah, people were like, do you know? Ah, well, the cupcakes were delicious. Anyway, let's get into a little sports talk because that's totally oh, my thing. Yeah, yeah. Here at Barstool Sports. Your well known Barstool rant sports. video. Our defense tonight the pads in my medicine cabinet have been getting more action than the pads on our defensive line. They're not doing shit, they're not protecting our quarterback. They're leaving holes bigger than the one on the top of Peterson's hat. Let's talk about small wood. Oh, we came up short tonight. We came up real short person yeah. too after the Eagles games I like to get in my car and just let it all out yeah so it feels pretty good to do that mm -hmm. you don't have to know what you're talking about you don't have to know about sports you have to have emotion and passion right mm -hmm. you just have to yell into a camera in your car it's simple as that <laughs> um, but speaking of Philadelphia and the Eagles different sports same city Manny Machado Manny Machado showed up he's a free agent now after leaving the LA Dodgers who knew? <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, I know Hubs is losing his marbles. He thinks Machado's going to the Yankees. I don't think so for a couple reasons. When he showed up to meet with us, he was dropped off in the cold, mm -hmm. left outside the stadium. The GM was also locked out, had to let him in. A construction worker wearing neon orange hunting clothing walked up to him <laughs> and was like, get that money. And he's right, because the Yankees might have the niceties in the class, um, but we have... The fucking money. We have right. the money. Philly's That's the got difference. the money. That yeah. also, I mean, you guys obviously both know as Philly people. I've been to Philly numerous times. The where the stadium is, there's nothing there except the stadiums. Right. Like the the three stadiums are right it's there. It's just a complex yeah, out in the cold. Like yeah, it's not like an you're island. Downtown's like oh, I'll just walk from you know the Starbucks over to the stadium for my big meeting. No. Right. You're just standing in the middle of nowhere. He got left outside in the cold. I don't think it bodes well for Machado coming to Philly. I think it was, I don't think he liked this, this construction worker, this dude coming up to him. He was like, yeah, hey, don't, don't take a picture with me. He was the biggest Philly scumbag of all time. I always think about like how awesome it would be to be able to go on these free agent trips. And like get courted? You, yeah, yeah, like go to nice steak dinners and Hell have everyone yeah. be like, hey, you're the best, we love you. Do the video, you know, like the Jesus Shuttlesworth video where the, the Jumbotron got has you like in the, you know, announcing your batting line, the batting lineup and where you're going to play and all right. this stuff. Or like a slideshow of all your greatest achievements yeah. and shit like that. Just a little deck about how sick you are. 
Yeah. I don't think it's going to be enough for Manny Machado. Even just seeing how he came up, he was like wearing a turtleneck and like his fucking hair was his slicked hair back. He looked like a fucking a Yankee. Oh, he did he look, look like, like a he looked like a Yankee. Did he look like a Yankee, Tommy? Oh yeah, he did. Oh yeah. Fuck you, Thanks, Tommy. Tommy. I also like how the camera was like, there was a camera set up. They were ready for him to come out, and the only person there was this like construction guy wearing hunting clothes. <laughs> and he like nobody protected Machado when he walked up. He like grabbed Machado and was like, "Yo, dude, you and me smoking a coke after this, bro." Yeah. This um, guy did not. Uh, yeah, he did not like Philadelphia. Was. He was disgusted by this dude coming up. Machado oh. is not coming to Philadelphia, unfortunately. I think he's gonna. You I'm just because just we're gonna pay. You got the flavor of the city. It's a little something called hard <laughs> no, to get. He didn't want to. We're yeah. playing hard to get. Oh, just lock you him out of the stadium. You gotta wait to get into. We're not like the Yankees. Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, no, no. red carpet. Oh, that was. Take us the red lobster <laughs> first. That was a subtle, nice joke there, Kate. Thank no, you. Really Found intercourse and me, red vagina. Oh, anyway. Uh, this is exactly how I thought a Kate rundown would go. <laughs> oh, God. I love it. No, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. When Dave says, when Dave sends me the text, is like, can you do the rundown? I'm always like, we got to get some new people in the mix because I want to, and this is exactly how I thought it would go. All right. It's great. It's good. It's great. Well, Kate's prepared as fuck, too. I'm like, there's a ton of writing on each one of these cards. It's not just a list yeah, of Yeah, your topics. only mistake was coming over to me and being like, hey, uh, just talk, <laughs> thinking through topics. It's like, no, we don't do that. <laughs> yeah. you got to just email me the topics 30 seconds before. And then go. And then be like, you ready for the rundown? Yeah. yeah. No, I was scribbling furiously. I was like, all right, I'm on it. Um, <laughs> am I sweating? No. No, you're good. That's the perfect sweater to to sweat through your pits in. You Just can't put tell. It's black right at the, yeah. at the point where it will get darker already. Mm -hmm. That's designed for you to sweat through. By the way, I'm not gonna tell you how to do your job, but you from now this point forward, anytime you want to do the second ad, you can. Oh, you know what? It's almost like it's time for that oh. ad, which is great because it's about movement watches. <laughs> MVMT.com/rundown. 15% off and free shipping and returns. What? That's yeah, wow. that's wow. crazy. Uh, Unbelievable uh, It makes a great gift. So, I mean, we're getting close to that time, folks. And uh, movement watches start at just, I'll be like, Dave, what the hell? I can't see with the lights. Uh, $95 <laughs> to look great. That's incredible. That's terrific. Wow. Uh, so, that is terrific. Incredible that's and terrific. terrific. It really is. Both those really words. Is. Great you adjectives. Know, speaking of Dave, uh -huh. I had my first really scary interaction with him yesterday where he was like the first time I saw him like losing his marbles up close kind of mm -hmm. and it all had to do with a medal of honor recipient calling into our show well you know what like then call him up and say something to him. why why didn't Don't he call me up why that. didn't he call me up if he had a problem with me why wouldn't he tell me no, instead do it privately when he never thinks that, it's gonna get back it. to me you that, think that, I don't know if I'm gonna say it on the radio it's gonna question. get back to him of course it did you found hey. out it get back well, to everybody well of course why don't you wait if you text why do I owe him the dignity of calling him why do I owe him the dignity of calling him when he's trashing me privately so then guess who started so then Defending, I know we won't get back too back into it, but the whole Bob Mennery thing, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, because who the fuck is that guy anyway? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Um, you're welcome. Um, but so I guess he's friends with Medal of Honor recipient Dakota Meyer, who did incredible things in Afghanistan. He went, they were under fire. He went back and forth several times under machine gun fire, grenade, all this stuff. But how um, old is he? Now he's, I'm going to say... No, he said he's, I'm pretty sure he said he's 30 on the radio. He's 30, All he yeah. did was come at Dave's age the whole time and just call Dave You're 41. 41. You're a 41-year-old old man. What are you doing? Yeah. So you're 41 years old. Like, right. here's the problem I have with you. You're 41 years old. Did Bob go what does that have to do with anything? What does being 41 have to do with anything? Dakota, what's 41 have to do with anything? I just don't like people who kiss my ass to my face and trash me privately. Which he is did. true, but I think Dave yeah. kind of bodied him in that in that argument. It, I, I yeah. listened to some of it. Like, it felt like Dakota Meyer wasn't even listening to what Dave was saying. No. And they were just yelling over each other. I think his mind was made up because he's friends with Bob Men Menery. Yeah. Bob, who the fuck cares? <laughs> um, <laughs> but the then it escalated afterwards. And Dakota was a good sport. We asked him to call in. He called in. He, They went in circles. I think Dave won that one. Um, because I think, again, he was just going to defend his friend. Um, what were your emotions seeing Dave go crazy up, up, up close? Seeing the veins in his neck coming out, because I was like, sometimes you're like, oh, is it just exaggerated? But I'm like, oh no, he feels everything oh, yeah. he's saying right now. There was also a great moment where Dakota Meyer said, thank you for your service, and Dave was like, you're welcome, and then every, and everyone, and like Connor, Kate, and Chaps, who all obviously served in the military, were like, were you talking to us or so Dave? So he stole or? Valor. He stole Well, Dave is a Purple Heart recipient. Beasting, twice. Yeah, oh, well, wow. no, he got... 
He got a Purple Heart for hiring oh. chaps who has a Purple oh, Heart. Oh, like a transitive like, property. Uh, yeah, associative property. Yeah, right. secondhand Purple right. Heart. Right, yeah, exactly. Secondhand it's Purple. associative property. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was just an interesting thing. And then, I don't know if you guys saw this, but then Minari's brother went on Twitter and was like, I'm going to kill Dave. Um, that's what he sounds like. What is he sound like? <laughs> Uh, can I read it? Can yeah, I, read I missed this. Oh, yeah. this is, like, I missed so then this. afterwards, Mark Maneri went on Twitter <laughs> I like at Dave and said, <laughs> Every time you I'm Bobby's older brother. Say what you want about him. Leave my sister out of this or I swear on everything I own. I'll come find you and kill you where you stand. Not an Instagram Twitter fight. I promise you this. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> I, like when, I, mean, I like when people do that when they're like, this isn't a Twitter fight, even though that's exactly what it right. is. But like, we'll take this to the streets. And this guy's Twitter picture is of him shirtless with a fucking okay, rack of dumbbells it, in I front of him. Told you you that. Yeah, you knew that. Yeah, you yeah, knew we that knew that. We all knew that. Away. It was either that or holding a huge fish that he caught. <laughs> right. One or the other. It's like when you're on Bumble in Arkansas, where I was for Thanksgiving. They're either holding a big fish or yeah. they're, yeah. Look, yeah. That's so how's story. this gonna? I I feel like how's Dave's, it gonna end? You mean? Well, Dave's point, which was the the point that I feel like Bob Memory just keeps missing, is like, what Dave could fight a million other people for so much more money if he was gonna fight. Like right. he was like, I'll fight Kevin and we'll do insane pay per views. Why would I fight Bob Memory? It right. is a really easy thing to do to be like, you got a boxing competition, we'll like fight me in it. And I don't think Bob Memory is the first person to fucking. Like, right. challenge well, Dave, Dave to a fight. Face. Yeah, right. to, to Join the line. Yeah. Right. A lot of people. Who, a lot of people. Dave, I did, yeah. like, appreciate how Dave was like, uh, I'll do it for an appearance fee of a million dollars. And someone was like, uh, I called him out. He's like, dude, I had a bad week with the bookie. Like, yeah. need the million. Like, he, I, a million up front, not yeah. a purse. Yeah, yeah, We're not doing a purse where pay you, the million. one guy gets a million. I'll come in and dance around, and then I'll pay my bookie. Yeah. Is Bob Memory, uh, is he a big dude? I don't know. Mm. Me neither. More like Rick. a Bob Womanery. Oh, way he's nice. Hey, guys. Once again. Is Riggs over there? Yeah. Riggs. Riggs. Dude, speaking of, yo, you know that uh, Nate's beefing with Amy Schumer right now? Five shots. In the DMs. They're personally talking to one another. Yeah, they're Damn. like. They're like going back and forth with one another. Yeah. That's fucking, he's, he's in there if he's beefing with, with Schumer. I know, it was wild. He was reading some of them off earlier. Riggs, and what's up? You've great. met Bob Memory? Yeah. Can yep. you give us a uh, breakdown tail of, of tape. yeah, tail of the tape, size, like athleticism? Reach. I'd say he's probably five, seven, five, eight. Oh, he's that short? He's not overly tall enough. Damn. I'll fight you, Bob. For some Mary. reason, I thought he was <laughs> taller. Let's <laughs> go. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that's about right. He hits the ball, hits the golf ball pretty nicely. That's all the athleticism I saw out of him. Okay, yeah. so he's not like a, he, like it wouldn't be a straight mismatch of size. No. Okay. Between he and Dave. Dave? No, I think they're pretty similar size. Okay. How yeah. are his shoulders? Would they pop out? I, I think better than Dave's. Dave's. He's like yeah. just 15 years younger, right? Like how old is he? Many years younger and his shoulders are attached to his body. Okay. Which is huge. You can't try to fight someone whose shoulders pop out of their body. Like it's, you might seem right. valiant for fighting someone whose limbs don't work. But right. Like Rough and rowdy expert. That's true. Dave, Dave will point I've him been to been there, death. brother. Yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. time. So. Do you remember that one guy, the, the Italian bouncer who got Men his shoulder not popped yes, out? Yes, his shoulder pops out. And he was so mad that he wouldn't get to fight anymore? It would ruin the fight. It would ruin the fight. It would be yeah. a no contest or some some bullshit. Um, by the way, Kate, sidebar, Francis is now in the view and he's probably upset that you're hosting and he's not. So just pretend we're not <laughs> doing the rundown. Hey, Francis, I'll be over in a second. I'm just hosting the rundown. So uh, just give me a minute. Where's yeah, my microphone? <laughs> you know, you weren't here. This place is not what it used to be. <laughs> You've got women hosting the rundown. I don't even know why you're working here. Barstool Sports. What do you mean? There was a time, there was a time I remember in the Milton days uh, yeah. when you wouldn't see a woman for more than a year at Barstool, <laughs> and then they would go on to profound fame and success. <laughs> Good luck, Kate. Thank Big you. shoes to fill. Thanks, Francis. Anyway, that's my time. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, All right. Francis. Thanks, Francis. Wow. wow. Go see him at, see him at Gotham. Great. Yeah, go see him at Gotham. Yeah, go see. When's your next yeah. set? Gotham? Tonight? Yeah, go. Go to Gotham tonight? Yeah. Oh. We'll go to Gotham. It's not worth coming to. <laughs> Where is it? It's a piece of shit show. Oh. It's a piece of shit show, but if you find it, go to it. It's a hell of a sure. show. If you can figure out where Francis will be, go see it. <laughs> and if you go see Francis, make sure you get french fries, because there's going to be a lot of salt. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs>
Oh. You know, you better watch yourself, little lady. Oh. <laughs> if I'm telling the truth, though, Kate is actually a phenomenal comedian, and I've seen her stand up. And it, Stop it. You do stand up, Kate? It hurts me uh, that she doesn't dabbled. do it more often. She dabbled. You would be better than me in five minutes. You call her a Not comedian? True. No, I don't. Oh, I heard it. I heard I don't. the double N and the E at the end. You know, you hear what you want to hear, Kate. <laughs> have either of you guys ever done a 45-minute set? I have. Oh, I have. <laughs> According oh, to Kale. Yeah. 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 I thought I heard something about that. I saw that Again, I've done hours, man. Crushed it. Kale put up that Instagram story. And, yeah. <laughs> now, right. now you're getting... <laughs> 45, whoa. Now you're getting booked for I'm 45 moving minutes on. set. I'm moving us on. Okay. 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 To something important from your homeland. Slave driver. Kevin's in Chicago tend to have a wild time at Christmas. Many moons ago, one woke up without his family. This time, one woke up with news that he was getting new lungs. Kevin... You get new lungs. <laughs> no way! No way! Mom, not tonight! No, no, Mom, stop it. Yeah. When they called, you're getting new lungs. No way! No way! You're getting new lungs. No way! Stop it! Stop it, dude! You're getting new lungs. No way! Tonight! <laughs> Tonight, oh, this morning. This morning. This morning. Yeah. It's two. We have to three be there at four a.m. No way. Yeah. <laughs> no way. No way. Way. Mom, I thought I was really low on the list. <laughs> <laughs> You're so. Did wow. you see the video of Kevin D'Agostino? He was super excited to get new lungs. But Sister, my question about that is he found out in the middle of the night that he's getting, he, this guy finds out in the middle of the night, he's so excited that he's getting new lungs. He has the hose in his nose. But He has cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis. Yeah. That's terrible. awesome. Yeah. But did someone have to die for him to get new lungs? Pretty so it's pretty sure much that they're just like. A donor family was nice enough to. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, I think that's always incredible. So shout out to the family it's who's going through a, that with the donor yeah. right now. But yeah, it was like his family woke him up in the middle of the night. Um, surprise, like, we need to be at the hospital now. You're getting lungs this morning. And afterwards, there's already pictures up online. The surgery's done. He's awake. He's Fuck well. Yes. So it just, and the, how excited he is, you can tell. He knows, like, he's, he's getting his life saved because somebody else's kindness. Which leads me to ask, are you guys donors? Yes. Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I am. I don't know, though, how healthy check. my organs are. That's my problem, If you got a too. bum lung? Yeah, if you're about to be so giving someone like a not, bum liver. I would guess that my organs aren't in tip-top shape, right? Organ donor. I don't organ remember. donor. There you go. I don't have organ a donor. I'm an organ donor too, organ but donor. I also um, back on the smoking train. Who the hell? So. I don't understand people who aren't organ donors. They just want to ha hog their organs. Well, you know what it was? It was that myth. Remember that myth that like when the organ doning. <laughs> organ doning, organ do donating, <laughs> donating, donating. Donorship. Oh yeah, we're donating tonight. <laughs> there was that uh, myth um, that like if you were in a car accident, they would kill you for the organs. Right. They'd yeah. be like, they oh, this guy's. In, let me see his license. Oh, he's an organ donor. Oh, uh, the paddles aren't him. working. Yeah, yeah, they won't save him. Uh, I think yeah. that was the myth that got. It was kind of like, you know, Pop Rocks. That and, they're just going to uh, shove these. And especially if you're like a healthy <laughs> Pepsi. person. Pepsi would <laughs> blow up your stomach. Those kind of things. Yeah. Well. Obama death uh, death camps or whatever. No, what it was death it? panels. Death panels. <laughs> death, yeah, death, death panels. panels. That kind of shit that like, it starts, you know it's not real, but then you're like, eh. Yeah. Chemtrails, man. Yeah. What's up with mm. that? Steel beams. I don't know. Yeah. But organ donor, always a good thing. What do you think is a better Christmas gift? Uh... Uh, or uh, lungs, like a fresh organ, or like a PlayStation 2 or something like that. Well, PlayStation 2, but... PlayStation 2. Yeah, 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 PlayStation 2. So imagine how excited he would be if he got the PlayStation 2. Yeah. Tommy. Ooh. Moving on. I'm moving us on. Moving what? Uh, I said PlayStation 2 is like kind of outdated. Oh, yeah. It's but like the equivalent yeah. of like yeah, a pay, PlayStation, PlayStation 4. The, the most recent PlayStation yeah. or some lungs. I remember the Christmas I got Nintendo. One of the best. That's what I'm saying. One That's of the like best. the marquee Christmas gift. You get a gaming console. Yeah. Like, there's nothing like better than that. Solid I, agree. I, except for maybe lungs. Except for maybe lungs. Huh, speaking of, someone's trying to breathe fresh life into the Oakland Ace. <laughs> and it's none other than. Uh, <laughs> what a ride these transitions are. It's none other Smooth than Marshawn landing. Lynch. Uh, he looked like Dora the Explorer roaming around in sandals and a backpack at what the, the town city council <laughs> meeting. <laughs> Night. <laughs> Basically, we got the Raiders going to Vegas. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. We got 
The Warriors going to San Francisco. Yep. What else? So he says we best not lose the A's. He'd appreciate it very much. A 15 word statement. A man of few words. A man of few words. Did but you write notes down for each topic? No. <laughs> notes? Yes. Jokes? Like, she's, uh -huh. I'm saying she's prepared. I keep throwing she's using away. the card. Yeah, like your letterman card. doing his top ten. I just it always is. wanted it's to. It's like do John Stewart, that. like taking a note at the end of everything. <laughs> I did. There's only 17 more to go. <laughs> settle, in. settle in. Marshall um, Lynch is a legend. Marshall legend. Lynch is yeah. like the, the most Oakland dude of all time. Yep. And, yes. uh, if what, what he says in Oakland goes. Like yep. He should be the alderman, the city councilman, the mayor of Oakland. Yes. He's, he's that dude. Yep. I agree. I just thought it was super cool that he showed up to that meeting. Very and cool. then he was like, uh, you know, we don't need to get fancy. I just need to say my piece. He's top five coolest athletes right now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe ever? He'll just, mm. he'll just roll up with some sand. It's just a different type of cool. He's a very relaxed cool. He's not like in your face, just down do your throat list. cool. Yeah, like, he, like yeah. there's a difference between obviously like He's best athletes, Joe but I'm saying coolest guys that you're like, ooh, I want their shoes. I want... I want to watch them. They're funny. But he's not like what Russell Westbrook cool is like no. dressing up and like being fancy and taking no. Instagram pictures. He's just like cool because he'll just eat a yeah. bunch of Skittles lean back in some shorts, yeah. and keep the A's in Oakland. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know it's not cool? What? <laughs> <laughs> you got a transition for us? As smooth as silk. Uh, heckling basketball players on the sideline with rude comments, am I right, gang? Not cool. Not cool. Decidedly not cool. Well, that is what happened at a Pistons-Timberwolves game that Zaza Pachulia had to save Blake Griffin from beating the ever-loving shit out of a fan. So words were said... Blake goes to like run up into the stands to beat this guy's ass, and Zaza holds him back. So now he joins the ranks of, of late of Marcus Peters, Leonard Fournette, Patrick You Beverly, did some fucking research. Montreal, he Harrell, and yeah. Kevin Durant of recent guys who have wanted to run into the stands and beat the shit out of people. Mm -hmm. And my thought on this was that it made me feel pretty good because sometimes I still get butt hurt by people online. And I'm like, ah, oh, I feel dumb for getting mad. But I'm like, these super rich guys are getting mad too, so yeah. it's okay. Yeah. It's okay to get Sometimes the trolls get to you. Sometimes you get a little triggered, it's fine. But do you think, like, if he had gotten to him, do you get kicked out of the whole league for that? Like, what? If you beat the yeah, fuck out of him. Like, fan. malice in yeah. the palace type. You'd be a lot like, of trouble. I yeah. know you said before that you think people should get, like, one beat up. One, every, so every sporting event, that you go to, every player on every team gets one call out of a fan per year. Okay. So, and if the if he calls the fan out, they have to meet at center court, 50 yard line, center ice, wherever, and fight on the spot. I so, like that. but the, in the dynamic, obviously changes. Like if Blake Griffin burned his fan beat up last night, the rest of the season people can just talk so Do much. Do whatever shit to they him. want. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they kind of hold it over. It's like this. It no, would be it's a, a very strong intense, theory. Uh, because like, it adds a game to the game. Right. It's a tension in the air. Like, I better not talk shit about this guy because he's still got his fight card left this but year. But then by the end of the season, if they haven't used it yet, the it stands are probably, probably. Per, Oh, it does. It carries over. Okay. I was or maybe say. not. Of course. Then people get, get really scared. Like, no, this I think if you don't use it, you lose it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So you have to beat someone's ass by the last game of the season. Yeah, or lose yeah. it. Maybe you're just a guy who doesn't like to fight. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that fans aren't able to just say whatever they want anymore. I thought that was the right of a fan to just be able to talk True. unlimited shit yeah. to people. Yeah. I used to be a screamer in the stands, and I would I would really relish losing my voice saying, like, the meanest things I could to, like, whatever mm -hmm. left fielder was at Citizens Bank Park. Yeah. But now they're yeah. going to take this right away from us and make us feel like athletes are people, too. I don't care for it. I miss yeah. that you can't throw cans anymore. I miss you can't throw batteries anymore. I'm very sad about that. Did you ever snowballs. get yelled back at? I got the Matt Kemp once fat shamed me from uh, oh. right field at Wrigley, and I stopped yelling at players after that. There's a, a Jonathan Jaso, I think, is like a left fielder or something like that. He he uh, put his batting glove in his back pocket with the middle finger up at me one time. There you go. That's <laughs> awesome. I mean, yeah. that, that means you got to him. Yeah, I, I was in his head. Yeah. I was in his head big time. We used to, my dad and I would go to Phillies games and we'd always sit by third base and we used to rip on Pat Burrell really bad. And then we discovered... <laughs> oh, the whole team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's old. The true Phillies fan. By the way, a friend of a friend's sister hooked up with him and said that he has a baseball bat tattooed on the side of his leg. I don't know if that's true. Pat Burrell hit us up. The legend continues. Yeah. yeah, but anyway. Um, and then it turns out some of his family members were also sitting around us and we're like, please... They were heckling him too. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, Fuck you, baseball bat dick. Yeah. So then I felt a little bad about that. Guys, 
That's, I mean, do I have any other notes? I just really like doing this. It does make you Oh, so those have dignified. nothing on it? No, they, they have I other like, notes? I've gone through them already. I actually That's need it for all what those. I got. I mean, wow. is that okay? Did I? I thought you, I thought you crushed it. Yeah, Tommy. you don't ask Tommy if it's okay. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. It was, it was different. It was fresh. I think it'll be well liked by the public. <laughs> a breath right. of fresh air, Kate. Mm-hmm. Wow. Cool. How do you feel about it? Is it a relief? <sighs> it seems like you have some tension going. Yeah. I feel much better now. I yeah. feel like a little puddle. You stopped sweating. sweating yeah. Through yeah. I was profuse to see the back. The back of this. <laughs> a little uh, back sweat. Yeah, a little back sweat. Um, <laughs> Hit me up. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful, beautiful job, Kate. Will you be here yeah. tomorrow, Kate? I'm gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah, you seem like someone who, who's gonna do a lot of see you next year jokes. I, uh, yes, I am. <laughs> you have them written yes, on I sure cards. Am. I've already been working. The, the, the joke where I'm like, who the fuck is that? Big Cat and Roan. Oh, that's on a card. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Did I say apologize at the bottom? <laughs> yeah. Just in case you forgot to apologize at some point. <laughs> Anyway. Boy, no <laughs> sorry. You want to say sorry for that? Making a strong case for women today on the rundown. I'm sorry. This is the first uh, yeah. female hosted rundown ever. Yo, let's go. Great. Fuck rundown. that glass ceiling. Yeah, you just yeah. smashed the glass ceiling. Damn. Hey, oh, Tommy. Didn't uh, intern Dana do one back in the day? I don't know if she hosted one. Mm. Wow. Way to come rain on the parade, Tommy. Wow. I thought we had God a first here. Yeah, thanks, yeah. Way to go, Tommy. Thanks a lot. We're trying to celebrate Kate. <sighs> wow. It's Kate's day, and you just steal it. Sorry. No, it's Steve's fine. not around. That's what I like to Maybe. Say. Tommy, okay. give a quick recap of Survivor for the people. Yeah. Is it why? So you could interrupt No, me I'm not going to. Uh, look, there you go. It was a deserving winner. Nick was a deserving winner. I wish there was a little more drama included, but it's still better than anything else that was on TV last night. Oh, I have one more thing real quick, too. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, (laughs) Good recap. (laughs) Dr. Nishwat, the vape doctor from Fox News, came in yesterday and reunited with Tommy's gal pal for you? I mean, probably. I'm not sure. Have you cooled off on her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I look, it was, I was never, she was my enemy, really. Yeah, but. The audacity to come back to my turf. Isn't that like, you're you're a screenwriter. Isn't that a story arc that. (laughs) To meet cute. That's what that was. Yeah, right. Like you, you know. We'll see. At when he end? asked her out to dinner online on Twitter, and then she was like, I'm, I'm old enough to be your mother. And so she came up and was joking with him about that. And he was like, oh, I was just kidding. I was just joking. So he totally collapsed. Well, he was totally nervous. I'm going to say something. <laughs> Damn, Tommy. I'm going to say something, Tommy. Don't take yeah. it the wrong way. Uh, we got this a lot. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, you actually seem like the perfect guy yeah, to, like, uh, start. No, to, like, a MILF film. Yeah. <laughs> you are, right? Like Jordi El Nino. Yeah, like you are you are the prototypical like mom fucks young kid. Oh boy. Mom yeah, fucks right. son. No, not poor cool boy. It's like the kid who's like, "Oh, I, f- I found I found my, uh, my I found my friend's mom. mom's dildo and then you're like playing with it and then He gets caught vaping. Yeah, you know? right. <laughs> no, right, or yeah. like the the kid leaves and like for class and you slept in and then the mom's like, "What are you still doing here, Tommy?" And they're like, oh, I got this boner. And then, yeah. So, again, not to be, I don't think that was rude. No, it wasn't rude at all. See, most of the time when I'd set these up, they're not bad. Yeah, usually your mean remarks come out of nowhere. Right. That's a desirable position. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm You're a MILF hunter. Asshole. Yeah, you are. Well, no, that's, again, not, not he's not a MILF hunter. He's the kid. MILF hunter. He's the awkward kid who stumbles into, hunted. like, the mom's kitchen. She's like, I can't pay the rent this month. And he's like, well, I, my grandmother just died. I have 500 bucks <laughs> lying around. The hard way. And then they stare at it, and they're like, well, what are we going to do? Then, boom, you fuck her. Yep. I'd you, like Tommy. to keep this going for another 10 minutes, <laughs> if you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. We uh, could keep it. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, wait. Tomorrow there's not one? Nope. Oh. Wow. Thanks for reading the website, Kate. Oh, my God. Any resolutions for the next year? Quit smoking, guys. For real? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Not even close. 